What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Well, I got this huge F550 behind me and the paint is really quite faded on this thing. So in discussing this job with the client, um, he's actually getting rid of the truck and kind of looking to shine it up, but didn't really want to spend a crazy amount of money. And after looking at it, I kind of determined that it really needed a two-step correction. And once I gave him the price, you know, we discussed it and that was kind of just way out of the budget for what he was looking to do. So we discussed trying to do something um, in one step and try and just get the shine back as much as we could, you know, without going crazy on time and uh, kind of trying to stay in budget. So instead of doing a two step, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a heavy cutting compound. Um, Griot's Fast Correcting Cream, which I love. I mean, I've used, I'm on my second gallon of this stuff. This is how much I've used it. Um, but then what I'm going to be using is this blue heavy polishing pad by Buff and Shine. And that kind of bridges the gap in between your polishing and your cutting pad. Um, so you get a good amount of correction, but it actually leaves a good finish behind. Um, I know a lot of you are saying, oh, but but you're not gonna seal the paint. Well, it's not really important on this project. I need to stay in budget on this and make this truck shiny and he's getting rid of it. Um, and even if you don't seal this paint when I'm done, it's still gonna stay shinier than it is now for years to come because I'm actually correcting the paint and you know giving some real good correction to it. So um, I'm gonna work on this panel and I'll show you guys now what it looks like beforehand because the paint is really, really hazy. Um, and then you guys will be able to see, you know, kind of how many passes I'm making, the arm speed I'm using. I'll show you guys how much product I'm using. Um, one thing I found using these pads in the past is because they're a little bit harder, they tend to have the tendency to sling product out when you increase the speed of the machine. So. Um, one thing I would recommend is just not going overkill on how much product you're using and make sure you put the pad down on a nice flat part of the car first, spread your product out, and then, you know, start increasing the speed. Otherwise, you're going to sling it all over the place and you're going to be cleaning up a big mess. Ask me how I know. So anyway, I'm going to get to work on this back door because um, it's definitely the worst. Uh, and then I'll bring you guys in and show you the results and, and how it's coming out. So um, this is about how much product I'm going to be using. This stuff is really quite runny because it's, it's warm, but you guys can see there that's pretty much, you know, how much product I'm going to be putting on. So let me back my ass up. Get to polishing. Okay. Difference. 
Man, this thing has crazy more gloss. This even has more cut than uh, than I was anticipating. Um, and the finish is great. I mean, I'm not seeing any haze at all. Um, and this process is definitely going to make this truck just way, way easier to do. So, all right. So I am going to go around the rest of this truck. Um, even though I'm only doing one step, these big old trucks definitely are still a lot of work and take a decent amount of time. But uh, when I'm all finished up, I'll bring the camera around the truck and, uh, you know, kind of show you what it's looking like. I think this truck's going to come out really, really good um, for one step. And um, again, I'm not really worried about going crazy sealing the paint. I got to seal it or else... You know it's gonna get all scratched up and ruin the first time what the first time it rains on it it's it's not gonna be the case because I'm actually removing scratches so unless you're doing something to scratch it again it's not like the finish I'm putting on this is suddenly gonna fade because it's not sealed yes sealants help maintain your paint but the whole purpose of what I'm doing here today is to just make it shiny to sell it and get the most dollar for it so um i'll check you guys in a little bit all right well i just finished the driver's side of this thing and i am so thrilled with this process um i think i'm going to be using it more often you know again depending on the situation it left a great finish and shine behind um, it improved the paint dramatically. I mean, I want to say I achieved 70%, maybe even 80% correction, all while leaving a great finish. No barring, no um, train in the background. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no marring, um, no DA haze at all. Um, great, great, great process. Um, that pad is amazing. Um, I'm glad I bought six of them for my duetto and six of them for the 21 and um, I'm going to be using them a lot. I'm about to order another six of each, um, you know, and, and just have a real full set of those pads because I think they're going to be my go-to um, for one step from now on. So big things. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.